It's time for one last time on F123 in Tier 2. We've got a four-way constructors fight still to be decided. And if our driver's championship was wrapped up last week with a little bit of drama, surely it won't be without some drama this time in Japan. Welcome along, folks. I'm your commentator, Ryan Searles. And in a little bit, we'll have Owen McMoran joining us here. The three-time Tier 2 champion. Excuse me, the four-time Tier 2 champion. Who knows quite a bit about being in these situations for either claiming a Constructors' Championship or a Drivers' Championship ahead of tonight's event. He won this race last season, and now we're about to find out who will take over on the top step of the podium. Last week was Bino, who won the race in China over Hunted LAX and JNT, or JTK, excuse me, and then Dil JG and JNT in the top five. But we're going to have brand new podium sitters, and we're going to have a brand new winner compared to last week in terms of the Japan race last time here and the race last week in RPL Tier 2. Let's find out what happens tonight here in Japan. Let's talk about last week and recap it for those of you who were not here. It was Bino on pole, and he dealt with no force feedback for 90% of the Grand Prix. In doing so, he was able to hold off Hunted LEX to claim his second Tier 2 victory. Red Bull have quite a storyline this time. SSR William, an American slash Puerto Rican driver making his second start and Blue Goggy, who joins this academy as the academy assistant or co-TP, whatever it is, next season, being loaned out to Red Bull a race early. And this man was dealt with a season ban at the very start of the season. Now he's making quite the comeback arc in RPL Tier 2 and has definitely got a chance to get his second ever Tier 2 podium tonight. His last ever one that he had was back in Saudi Arabia just four seasons prior. We're going to find out if he can replicate a result like that tonight. This time in a top car, though. He did that one on Haas. One of Haas's five Tier 2 podiums. And we'll find out what then happens after that. We'll, hap we'll uh, have to see what happens with V-Carb and what opportunity they give for their drivers for next season. They have William full-time, and they have Blue Goggy in the regular uh, V-Carb rather than the main RB, Red Bull Racing. This should be quite the interesting Grand Prix with a four-way constructors fight. Let's talk you through it, and then we'll talk to our co-commentator who's finally joined us. We have... Ferrari leading by 14 points over Mercedes. That's going to be the closest fight of them all. Red Bull are 37 points back. They need at least a minimum of a 1-4 with other teams in front of them not scoring. And McLaren, of course, not scoring them either. McLaren are 44 points back. They are the reason that this is a four-way title fight. They still can win the championship based on count back, but... They need to get 1-2 with fastest lap with no one else scoring uh, in front of them. That is how crucial it is for them. Oh, and you know a thing about this racetrack. You won here the last time we raced here. You also won the Drivers' Championship last season. And you also were quite the help in terms of getting Mercedes in the Constructors' Fight by the final race. These drivers, whether they're in the Constructors' Fight or not, lots of pressure for the final time in Tier 2 on F123. Welcome along. 
Hello. Um, yes, I see that Ferrari have got Dil JG in the Ferrari. You know, obviously, he did well last week. Um, so they're you know trying to make sure they can secure the constructors championship with a good lineup. JNT obviously already has the driver, so you know there should be no team orders in that team, you know, to benefit JNT. So hopefully, uh, both drivers just pushing to the max to give Ferrari the title. And uh, you know, outside the chance is obviously McLaren. They're very outside. Um, I actually look at the table that I posted. To make sure I'm not going to get any of these facts out of any, any of this stuff that's so wrong. Yeah, so McLaren, yeah, a very tight chance, 44 points. You know, they literally did a perfect weekend and they need everyone else to basically die. Uh, basically, just a, it's a mathematically it's a four way fight, realistically, it's a two way fight here between Mercedes and Ferrari. Very true. Uh, obviously, Red Bull very outside as well, 37 points off the leader. So, forever for disastrous weekend. And Red Bull get a one two, then Red Bull could win the constructors. So uh It's just gonna take a lot. We'll see how it unfolds with Williams and Blue yes. Doggy. I doubt, however, that they'll be able to do that. Well we'll have to find out. Um if you can quickly, Owen, because of how the audio is through Twitch, I was able to fix this a little bit with Titan last week. Is there a chance you can leave the party and rejoin and then include your audio again uh, in order to fix the issue? Because I will invite you back. All right, here we go. Let's do that now. By the way, welcome along to the Twitch chat. Give us your predictions for qualifying here. We're going to let you know the poll times from previous seasons right about now once jo Owen joins back. Got 16 in here tonight. All right, let's see if it's included. And um, if the mic is effed as JTKF1 fans that talk. Well... I said talk. A bit of talk, okay. Hello, I am hitting All right, the That's speak. much better. That is much, much better. Make PK. First car on the racetrack. Oh, and apparently stuck in cockpit cam. You stuck in cockpit cam? Make PK. Stuck in cockpit cam. That's how it'll work. Well, we'll find out. If there ends up being a collision with any of those guys from that. J&T says he's stuck in cockpit cam. Same with Red Fire Tiger. All those guys on the racetrack. Oh my god. I'm the master oh boss. boy. Well, I could tell you the one guy who would benefit from this. Still JG. He does cockpit cam. Where is the setting? Where is the setting? <sighs> Let me see cockpit where the setting camera is on. Yes, it is on. Oh. Master class wanted. Well, it is going to be a lobby restart then. It's going to be a longer one to start this weekend. And oh my god, it's the same glitch as Portugal. F.E. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. If you were just joining us, this is quite the glitch. I'm glad to see Make PK has got five different versions of himself in here. Yeah, Bob. What in the world's going on? If Make PK couldn't win with one car, you may as well win with five of them. Yeah, we're gonna get a lobby restart here. <laughs> That's quite crazy. Superb. Yay. Lovely. Since people are stuck in cockpit cam, do you think I should maybe restart the stream due to the uh, co-commentator audio or no? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Owen? I mean, you'd have to I hear for yourself, you probably. Gritty. You think I should do the gritty? Maybe whoever stands yeah. on top step of the podium will be doing the gritty. Be nice. Lobby is back up and open. I will get invites out as soon as possible. Um. I think I am going to restart the stream to fix the issue with audio since we are getting a restart. I mean, we don't have to, but just be easier to. And, um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll be back here in about 10 seconds, folks, for those of you tuning in. <laughs> 